Welcome back. It's 655. We want to get you ready. It is on your Tuesday, on Megan. On your Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Here are the top stories you know as you head out the door. Full FDA approval. Pfizer's COVID vaccine now has the FDA stamp of approval for people 16 and older. Health leaders say this may lead to an increase in vaccines and could pave the way for more vaccine mandates. Sentence altered. A judge adjusting former Limestone County Sheriff Mike Blakely's criminal sentence. According to court documents, Blakely no longer faces two years on supervised probation after he serves three years in jail. The reason behind the change is unclear. Search for a double murder suspect. Ricardo Bass has been on the run for nearly a week. He is considered armed and dangerous, so if you see him, do not approach him. Call 911. Search for the driver in a hit and run. 16-year-old Mason Gonzalez was hit and killed Thursday night. It happened near East Limestone and Nick Davis Road near Athens. Right now, authorities are looking for a dark-colored car with damage to the front and side. Helping Tennessee, Way 31's radio station partner WZYP is collecting relief items after that deadly flooding. They'll set up drop-off locations this afternoon at two Walmart locations. And we are dealing with dense fog in some of the lake and river basins here this morning. We've got clear skies aloft. You can actually see that nearly full moon setting off into the distance, but the bathtub is full in Lake Gunnersville right now. All that fog, it's going to mix out in the next two hours and everyone is back to sunny skies. But look at the visibility, zero in Scottsboro right now. Half mile in Alberville, four miles in Fort Payne, four miles in Decatur, six miles in Huntsville. So all that will slow you down this morning. Give yourself some extra time. But again, back to full sunshine, 90 by lunchtime, mid 90s this afternoon, but it's going to fill more like the triple digits with the humidity. Storm chances return by Thursday. Thanks for joining us. Stay cool out there today. We'll see you back here at 723 for a local news update and watch out for all that fog.